week um stay tuned for this tutorial it is a makeup a fall makeup look if you live in miami so you know how we only get one season out of all so of course it's summer so i put a little summer twist to the fall look and i really 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 hope you like it okay so stay tuned you ever been so annoyed that a fly is like freaking flying around while you're trying to record so we're just gonna go ahead and get started my face is clean um i just have a little bit of coconut oil on my face and i exfoliated today so yeah man and my hair is just a like a five day old twist up <laughs> So let's get started. First thing I like to do, I like to freshen my face. So I'm just going in with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist Inset. This is one of my favorites. I It's only $3 and it's freaking amazing. As I said, my face is already moisturized. So I'm just going to go straight into what I do to just prime my face. And I like to mix all three together. The NYX Pore Filler, Matchbox Photo Finish Primer, which is freaking amazing, like oh my god, and the same matte primer, okay, because I'm going to be wearing this probably all day, um, I'm a dance teacher, so we're going to go figure this out, how that's, how that's going to work. The pore filler is going to go mainly where I may have um, huge pores, I don't normally have huge pores, so this is not a problem for me, but... Whatever. So huge pore is normally when I work with people. It's on their nose, by their cheek area over here, not necessarily underneath the eye, but just right next to the side of the nose, and sometimes right here on the bridge of the nose and the forehead. Um, that's normally where I see huge ass pores. I'm gonna mix the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer with the uh, Rimmel London Stain Matte Primer. So now we're gonna go in with the Matte Poreless. Um, who is this by? Maybelline. <laughs> Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless, and my shade is Coconut. I don't have to mix this, so that's a plus. I use my Beauty Blender for this, and I spray. I keep this the entire time. Elf Makeup Mist and Set. It's great to spray your sponge. And then I just like a nice coverage. I'm not like a, I need to cover everything. So I have some discoloration. It is gonna show because I don't want so much foundation on my face. So let's be completely real. Um, normally I would color correct, but I'm like pressed for time right now, so I really don't have that kind of time to sit here and color correct my entire face. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So I'm just putting, this looks really, really light and red right now, but you have to understand it's going to warm up with your skin first. It's not going to warm up with your skin at first, but when you blend it in, it will. So, we're just dancing for Jesus. This baby dries fast, so we're gonna talk and blend at the same time. Um, it's a good and bad thing because I need it to move. The LA Pro Conceal in Toffee. Yeah. Anyway, so just bounce this underneath your eye. And I immediately just start blending. I don't wait till I it's just, uh, ain't got that kind of time. wedge dipping into the topaz and we're pressing 
I used to use banana, but obviously, um, baby has gotten a little bit darker. <laughs> so we cannot use banana. Because you want the powder to drink this concealer. Everywhere you have it. like a naked baby right <laughs> I'm using um, MAC mineralized skin finish in dark deep and of course if you know dark deep this is the color I'm using a kabuki flat top brush this is by crown um, C452 contour and blush real bronzers cover girl queen and ebony bronze beautiful and this right on top of that contour And also blending this up this is going to go everywhere on my face I'm taking this out just a little bit more than the contour part I'm going to, when you're contouring try to get as close to the hairline it's more realistic um, you don't want a gap of a line between your forehead and the rest and your makeup like doesn't or your hairline and your makeup doesn't it's not natural y'all taking a fluffy small kabuki brush and dip the tip of that into the bronzer and starting in the middle dispersing that color straight line Everybody does not need to contour their nose, only if you desire to. Back to the kabuki brush that you use to um, put on your powder, and we're just mending the two together in circular motions, blending your bronzer out so it's not so much of a line. Especially by the nose area. Blend that baby. Now when you blend it out, it's still gonna be there. It's gonna be more of a shadow than a harsh line. So don't ever be afraid to blend. I'm going to go to to emphasize the which one? to emphasize the bronzer and the contour. We're going to do a transition for blush. And this is from Milani Romantic Rose from their Potter Blush Rose Collection, which is so freaking bomb, by cursed. <laughs> so we're gonna put that um, not on top, but directly above it. And we're doing this in circular motions. Now we're going to go into Coral Cove, same uh, line. Ruby Kisses All Over Glow, the color is Bronze Glow here. And they have like, the awesomeness of highlights like highlighting bronzers because baby that is all I use so I just spray the crown brush highest point do you see it do you see it though and I'm just going to blend all the way up and we're gonna blend that out obviously but we're just gonna place it for now Z. 
Sexy Brows, Jordana Cosmetics Eyeliner, Easy Liner Retractable Pencil. One of my favorites, and the, co the color I'm using is Coffee Bean. To the spoolie and we're just going to brush the product through to the eyes um, we're going to first prep with um, urban decay potion eyeshadow primer potion NYX eyeshadow base it doesn't have any words on here because it rubbed off but it's just um, an, a white eyeshadow base to bring out the colors so we're going to go into the morphe brushes this I put on by itself it's basically saying matte neutrals this color orange color right here with a Morphe brush M55, M55, M505. In that kind of like a transition color. And we're just sweeping that back and forth all the way to the um, bridge of the nose. And we're going to go into the bronzer that we used earlier, the CoverGirl Queen Acne Bronze. We want to warm up the eye. Sweeping motion to the bridge of the nose. Go into a black brush. This is by Crown. Do this Amavi Blumish color. Blending brush, and we're going to blend the outer edges. We're going to take another blending brush. This is a little bit more tapered. It's the MAC 232 24. Mm -hmm. We're going to go into this dark brown, warm brown right here. Ink lot number 77 on the waterline and wing liner. To give the eyes a little bit more oomph, I'm going to put some dark brown, this dark brown underneath. Use carrot gold from Wet n Wild just to get a little pop of color. I really hope that you like it. It was really, really fun and quick. Um, it's a really simple eye look, especially it's fall for Miami. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.